All right, so in this problem, we have a tank with a thousand liters of water and 50 kilograms of salt. And there's a mixture of the salt and water leaking out at nine liters per minute. And also um, going into the tank is pure water uh, at six liters per minute. We are also told uh, Y is going to be the number of kilograms of salt in the tank after T minutes. So we want to find the differential equation for this setup. Um, dy dt represents the rate of that salt concentration. Um, and just from looking at it visually, we can see that since uh, it's escaping the tank at 9 liters per minute and water is only going in, no salt going in, at 6 liters per minute, um, we know that this rate of salt concentration should be decreasing over time. Um, and uh, to kind of figure out, help us figure out, we know we're going to look at the rate of salt going in, which we actually know is zero because we can see six liters per minute, nothing's, no salt's going in, minus the rate of salt going out. And we know that there's a certain amount of salt, Y, that's going to be uh, going out of the tank um, in this nine liters per minute. Um, so to set that up, uh, I will start actually by looking at the rate in, which we already know. Um, because we kind of visually looked at it, right? But we know that we start off with, we got six liters per minute of water going in and the zero kilograms of salt per uh, one liter of water, right? And what that does here just gives us that we know that the rate of salt is going to be zero kilograms per minute. So we already know that this is zero. Um, and then the part we are really interested in is the rate out, which is going to be, we know that... Um, the water, the mixture, is leaving the tank at nine, oh my gosh, keep putting a Q, nine liters per minute, and the salt that's coming out with that is going to be, in terms of Y, kilograms per uh, liter. Oh, not liter, we know it's volume, which is in terms of liters, uh, but in terms of that liters, we know we start off with a thousand um, liters of the mixture, actually, right? Minus, um, and then over time, we know it's, we essentially add this, we know it's increasing by six liters per minute, or water's coming in at six liters per minute, um, plus we're losing nine liters per minute. So six plus six increasing plus uh, losing nine. We know that six minus nine times over time, however many minutes. Um, and that will simplify to uh, nine over times y over um, 1,000 minus 3t, and of course, again, just for unit-wise, we know that's in terms of kilograms per minute, so we are on the right track there. So, in the end, we know that dy dt, the rate of salt concentration, um, is going to be minus, well, zero minus 
which is just minus 9y. Remember, with that minus, we already knew it's going to be decreasing because of just the way the setup is. Um, and 1,000 minus 3t. And again, just because it helps me understand the problem better, we know that in terms of kilograms per minute because of its salt concentration, right? And that is it. I uh, hope that makes sense.